Uh, it's DeAndre Hunter at Atlanta Hawks. You listen to the three-point conversion. Conditioning, you know, conditioning. Uh, last night's scrimmage, I thought our guys gave us focus uh, yesterday, and I really wasn't looking at execution uh, or anything like that. I was looking at conditioning. We played two 12-minute quarters just so those guys will get a feel for uh, a, a quarter and the timeouts in that quarter. And I saw right from the start, I think first three minutes, we were a little conditioned, uh, you know, breathing hard, and mainly because we've been controlling everything, you know, so got to work on our conditioning. And, uh, you know, that was an emphasis today. For the emphasis on conditioning, does that international trip kind of put a little bit of, uh, I word, not damper or hamper on anything, but just kind of cut the time that you have in training camp short a little bit? No, we're going to have to, we, we have to adapt. You know, I think the NBA is about adapting uh, really all season long. You know, a lot of things are going to come into play, uh, and you have to adapt to the conditions. And, you know, we have this trip. Uh, we'll have a lot of days to practice. I think we'll have about five, four or five days to practice over, once we get over there. And then when we get back, you know, we'll have some time. So uh, it's, it's about working on us and uh, day to day seeing how we can improve. Uh, today I felt like we needed to do uh, some more conditioning. Uh, tomorrow we'll do the same thing, a lot more planned than we did uh, today. And uh, then we'll get on the plane and take that trip. Switching gears really fast. We've been seeing Kyle's presence around camp for a couple of days now. And what is it like having him on hand to kind of be the guy that breaks things down? Corver? Yep. It's been great. You know, he's a, he was a uh, great shooter in our league. And uh, these guys know him. You know, he, uh, he just left the game. So a lot of these guys are familiar. Uh, with his play and what uh, he was able to do in, during his career. You know, so when he comes out and he speaks to them, uh, they know he knows what he's talking about. And it's been great. You know, I talked with uh, Kyle before the start of the season. He asked me pretty much uh, what could he do. Be yourself and anyone that you see uh, you can help. I want you to get out on the floor and, and, and work with those guys. And uh, he's done that. And, you know, I think that's a great thing, the fact that he, you know, he has the passion that he wants to teach and be a coach. Uh, and, you know, I've invited him into my uh, meetings. And uh, so he really has the freedom to pretty much do what it, whatever he wants. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, he could talk about a, a lot of things. You know, when a guy is uh, uh, struggling with his shot and he's concerned about that, he, he, he can speak on that. You know, being a pro, working on your game, uh, you know, uh, taking advantage of your skill, uh, whatever that may be. Uh, you know, guys who are, you know, struggling with the their free throws, their release point, uh, you know, so... I wasn't that shooter, so it's great to have a coach or a guy that can uh, come into our practices and be with us uh, to be available for the players to talk to them about that mindset of uh, being a shooter, um, you know, the, the long season, things that you go through uh, where you lose your legs, you know, how you get your confidence back. Uh, I allow him to just, you know, coach in that aspect. How is Jalen doing through camp? He's working hard. You know, he's been here since uh, really August was the time that he was allowed to start playing uh, and playing 5-1-5, five five. and he's been working hard. You know, last night uh, in the scrimmage, uh, you know, he was playing in, with that second unit and uh, going up against John Collins. And, uh, you know, I just I like his energy and, you know, just trying to earn his right, his way on the floor earn minutes uh, in the game. There are a lot of new faces in that second unit. How, did, how, did he, how does he go about sort of meshing with people who we can't relate to? You know, as I told all of our guys, uh, bring your ego, OK? But check your ego. And what I mean by that, you bring your ego, bring your game. I need to know what your game is, you know? So don't worry about 
when I say check your ego, don't worry about the next man's game, okay? Uh, bring your game and let me uh, judge that and figure out a way you, you can get out on the floor. Um, you know, so don't worry about that. You just, you come out here and play hard and, you know, your game, even though you and John Collins play the same position, your game could be different. And I expect your game to be different. You know, so what is your game? Show me your game. And that's all the focus uh, he needs out here on the floor. Has any rookies stood out so far? It's early. Everybody's trying to uh, work themselves into shape and, uh, you know, earn some playing minutes. You know, so I think all of these guys are giving effort. And, uh, you know, in about a week or so, we'll be live and they'll get an opportunity uh, to earn some minutes out on the floor. We got everybody, we got guys working. What, what, has, what uh, has stood out is the bodies that we have. You know, uh, last year we didn't have a lot of bodies healthy at this time. We do this year. And, uh, you know, guys are, are getting in their work. How did Sean Caleb coming back from, you know, the illness? He was good. He was good. He wanted to get up and down because he's been off for the last two, three days. And uh, so he wanted to get up, get up and down to get a sweat. Uh, we'll slowly work him back. And did AJ, was he able to participate in live play like he told? No, no. He uh, basically just did a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, uh, a one-on-one -on -one workout, nothing live. He didn't script any plays. And how did, how did you rate, I guess, Beak's first practice with the team now that he was able to join in? He was good. He knows how to play. You know, I think he has a high basketball IQ. Uh, we put him right out there. It was good to... Uh, see him be available to play uh, and practice with our guys today. Uh, so, you, you know, that was exciting to see. With Jalen and, and Yeka together, that's like a unique combo. Like they're both good passers, but not real big, but they're both pretty agile. Does that encourage you to do some like unique things with them? They're sort of not, I don't know. They're just different. Well, they're young. They're young. <laughs> You know, so that's a that that's a challenge in itself. You know, two young guys uh, playing uh, together, and you know, that's something that they have to work out. I have to see what you know. This is not about experimenting. Okay, uh, we got to win games. You know, so uh, the developing and the experimenting, uh, I'm not in that business. Right, Bob.